Hello, my soccer universe. Ready for the comparisons? I want to actually start at the tags. I already said the one, the little one here that's on the original jersey was not on the counterfeit. But if you now compare the tags, um, this is original and this is the one I kept from the other one. Pretty much the same thing, except that the one here is a little bit, it's actually the same size. A uh, little bit teeny bit smaller but this is the same thing just note here this is a little bit better printed than this one here so they really copy a lot uh, on the back this is one this here on the original one is a sticker on there here it's green printed actually you might want to call this better but what this the the counterfeit this one had it had this uh exclusive product badge with the Nigerian Federation in there uh, which this one did not come with. Now this might be something small but you know small details can make a big difference. Now if I compare the, the jerseys I mean I already said as great of a jersey as this is it's a little bit I don't want to say sloppily made, but it is not uh, rather perfect. Uh, there, there are quite a uh, little bit imperfections that you can look over. The material feel um, is similar. I find that the original was a, a little bit sturdier fabric, uh, but this fabric here is also quite good. In a way, I have to say that the counterfeit feels even a little bit smoother and better. So uh, I find that quite interesting. Uh, I think <laughs> if I just had the choice of material, this one is maybe the counterfeit is maybe even a tad um, more um, pleasant to uh, wear just from the feeling. Now uh, you can see here already the details are a little bit worn and they were engravers on the original one. They are in white, so you don't really see them. So this is one giveaway, but they really match most of the details. Now, if I compare the taping, uh, it's pretty much the same material. We have here the original and here the counterfeit. If you look at it, the material feels almost the same. If you look at it in a close-up, you can see that the counterfeit is maybe a little bit smaller, but they really nicely match the materials on both jerseys. But you know, this here seems a little bit more coarse than uh, this here. So that I think is an interesting detail uh, to note. Um, the two biggest differences, and I think I had this feeling right from the, from, from, from the beginning. First of all, the color. The green here on the original and the green on the counterfeit are two different shades. The, this is way, the original is way more lumi, luminescent or you know, blinding your eyes than this one. This is almost a nicer shade. Um, if you look at the pattern, I mean I could count or whatever, but you can already see uh, here the pattern is much more refined, much more um, close, closer to uh, together, whereas on that one it's a little bit rough, Co meaning also a little less stripes. If I look at the collar also, and this is now a theme that the counterfeit jersey is in a way always a little bit wider. Look at the collar here, the opening, and look at the opening here. And you see it is just, uh, you don't see, just a little bit wider on the, on the counterfeit. Also, um, the inside here is much nicer stitched than here. They copy really every stitch almost one to one, but it's sloppily done. Uh, you could kind of see this would never happen on a real jersey. So this was a giveaway. I also found that the way that the stitches are done on the counterfeit, and you see it in my video when I reviewed this jersey, uh, these are much nicer. So you know, there is a little bit more quality to the original, which is to be expected. And then uh, another thing that you would immediately see 
um, when you have them side, 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 side by side. Uh, the Federation Crest, they look very much alike. However, this one is back. This is very solid material. This one is not back and uh, that's why you get also this little fold in there that doesn't look all that nice. But if I look them next side to side, yes, this one is larger of the original, but the two, I urge you to tell me the difference. I mean, the soccer ball on the original looks, not, of course, finer than on the counterfeit, but other than that, there is, this is, this is well matched. The size of the swoosh is another thing that I was agonizing over, and it's more or less that the swoosh This one is maybe a little bit next to each other. You can see now the difference is a little bit better, but you know, just by the look of it, at first, this is really hard to distinguish those two. Uh, same goes for the shoulders in a way. Um, let's see the original here on the back on the original. The sides are almost matching up. I mean, this is not quite perfect here. But they're almost matching up, whereas here, do you see the difference? It's much a much wider pattern, hence uh, there is a little bit, um, you know, it looks a little bit coarser in a way. This is overall the better product, I have to say. Now there's one difference, and I don't count this now as a real difference, because uh, this tag here, this came out now in 2019. The 2018 jerseys don't have this tag. I have an England jersey, I have a France jersey. They don't have this tag. So, um, but if I compare the tags, and I think I've done this in a previous video. Let's see. Where is the tag here? The authentic 2018 tag. Um, this is a little bit smaller and not quite as shiny. So uh, you can watch this in my review video. So yeah, um, I honestly I should keep both jerseys just for comparison's sake, but I decided, ah yeah, the biggest difference I mentioned is also in the, uh, in the video. This was one that I noticed almost immediately when I got it. If I look at the color, look at, on this jersey, look at the edges of the green. They are rounded. Let's make this a little bit nicer. Do you see the rounded edges here? Here? They are in the point. And that was the one thing. When I saw the count counterfeit, that was kind of an almost surefire thing. Yes, this is a counterfeit jersey. Um, I compared the materials and I really have to say the material of this one is really, really good. I mean, Whatever went in there, yes, it's a counterfeit jersey, but they did a whole lot of work to make this. Uh, they almost had me fooled. I mean, I probably should have checked a little bit closer on the internet when I bought this one on eBay. But you know, you cannot uh, you cannot check for every every detail. I mean, given that most of the jerseys that I saw that are counterfeit are sold without the swoosh, I thought, yeah, this is a this looks good, good enough, but it tells you also now that the counterfeiters are really copying down to the smallest detail. And on the first look, there is not much difference. So again, here's the counterfeit. And here's the original. And now if you see them side by side, there is a huge difference, especially the color, uh, the point, the overall way it is made is just a tad better. This is still a good jersey. And yeah, I will probably post this on eBay for sale. So now that it's famous, it has been featured in so many of my videos. Maybe you want to have it. It's an XL. Uh, if it doesn't sell within two two weeks I'll keep it but um, I think it's a great it, this is still a good jersey the only thing that the really the only thing that really bugged me and I think uh, if you know someone who can sew well you see this part from the color it keeps come coming up 
that is something with a little bit skill on the needle and ironing I think this can be alleviated and uh, made into a proper look so for now if you want to have it it's yours you can get it on eBay I post a link in the description below uh, as, as I said if, 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 if it doesn't sell I might as well keep it because it's nice to have uh, two versions of the same to remind one this is the real thing and kind of have this as a reminder you know be careful out there especially on eBay especially on eBay this is probably the third time that I've been fooled uh, I don't like eBay for soccer jerseys to be honest um, I go rather to different sources where I have to look a lot more closer now having said all the nice um, fabric production I see here also there's a loose thread on this one but you know this is also easily fixed no? it actually goes out and it doesn't leave anything so I took the thread out but you know it's not all perfect even on the original Nike shirt uh, there's also here do you see you know you can never be it's you will never get the absolute 100% perfect uh, jersey but overall I it's the better one. Again, let me know what you think about these jerseys uh, and hopefully this video was uh, useful to you too. Let me drop in the comment below um, and let me know what you think about all that. Um, as I said, I'm gonna look at some Premier League highlights. I might do a quick uh, review of the first round. I know I need to stay on top of things. There was also German Cup, but you know, the cup competitions. I'll get into when we're way way later and I'll probably give you an update on the Champions League, my <laughs> Champions League experience tomorrow. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, it's a long video. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and from now on I'll be keeping posting regularly. Expect a video a at least every other day. Maybe you will see, get a video every day, I have to see how things are going. And up until then. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.